Welcome back everybody. This is Abram with Impact Ministries. As you can see today I'm going to be doing a review on the Fisher of Men Bible by the CSB Christian Standard Bible, uh, Holman Christian Standard Bible. It does retail for $29.99 as you can see down here. Um, as you can see, this is the newest release from Christian Standard Bibles for July of 2018. Okay, uh, this is a navy leather touch Bible. Let's take a look at the back of the box. You can pause this at any point that you would like if you want to read more about it. Here's the ISBN. It does retail for $29.99. Okay, right quick before I continue, be sure you hit the uh, subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of future videos that will be uploaded. Also, go check out my other videos and give us a thumbs up, okay? Again, this is the Fisher of Men Bible that, just, that was just released for July of 2018. So let's take a look at the Bible itself. As you can see, it is a navy leather touch with beautiful waves. This, these are waves. And it is etched all the way around. Here's the spine, and I love the font of this right here, of the Fisher of Men. I love the little logo of CSB up here. Again, the waves go all the way around to the back side. Amen. So this is the Fisher of Men Bible. Um, I believe it is Smith's own binding. It is paste down paper liner, as all Bibles in this range are. Um... Again, it is Smith's own binding, or Smith, yeah, Smith's own binding. Here's your presentation page. Fishing always begins at the thematic index. On the thematic index, you will find um, helps on helping uh, the apologetics against uh, Catholicism, Hinduism, Buddhism, atheism, you know, stuff like that. But we'll take a look in a minute. Right here is the opening page, the Fisher of Men Bible, Evangelism, Discipleship, Counseling. Here is your general editor, your CSB logos down here. Again, this was just released recent, uh, just recently, uh, July 1st, I believe. Here is the reason for this Bible. You can pause it and read it if you like. So you can further understand the idea behind this Bible. Which was a great idea to begin with. Here's your user guide. Here's the symbols that you're going to be finding throughout the Bible. Um, you have your apologetics highlighted. Evangelism, church, devotion, Christian, doctrine, and counseling. Right here it tells you throughout the biblical text the key verses are highlighted. Making them easy to identify. In addition... We include helpful footnotes that explain the main idea in a way that is easy to understand. And then there are a few uh, articles. Here's what they were talking about, the highlighted uh, verses to help you find them. So like if somebody asks you a question, are we the product of evolution? You go to Isaiah 42.5. And when you get to Isaiah, it tells you right here, you look it up. And then you'll see it highlighted. This is an example. Then read the footnotes down here. As for this one, was like this one says, now go see uh, Genesis chapter 124. So and then you go to 124 and you just, and then in 124 note, you'll have probably another that says go to Leviticus, for instance. You know, it's, it's a chain. Here's another example. At the end of the footnotes, you will see the suggested verse that continues the chain for this topic. And right here, like if you go to this one, at the bottom it will say, Chain begins at Isaiah 42.5. So this tells you down here that the, the verse chains for this one, for this particular scripture, begins at 42.5 of Isaiah. Now, these are not long, strong chains like you would find in a Thompson Chain Bible. Uh, these chains are about two or three verses strong. You know, maybe four to five at the most. But right here... Let me zoom in right here. If you're wondering how you can counsel someone that is going through deep depression, here's an example. You can pause it and take a look. So 
for example, if you want to help them recover, you go to recovery, Isaiah 43.1, and it'll have it highlighted. Then you go down to your footnotes, and it'll tell you go to Isaiah 43.4. At the end of the footnotes, the suggested verse that continues the chain where this theme is given and so on. So you just follow it. It's pretty much a chain Bible uh, helping you evangelize uh, evangelize and help with devotions and counseling. Here's a thematic index. Again, this is the apologetic section. Helps you understand ar archaeology. Here's all the scriptures that proves that archaeology uh, Archaeology confirms the historical accuracy of the scriptures and provides the historical and social culture background. Ar archaeological discoveries do not contradict the biblical accounts. Correctly understood. Science supports the Bible. So I guess these are the verses that will show that science does support the Bible. Okay. And then you look underneath it. And just go page to page. There's atheism. Bu Buddhism. Is it Buddhism? Buddhism. Catholicism, which when I which I use Catholicism on a family member to help them understand that Mary, the Virgin Mary to the Catholicisms, they believe that she will answer their prayers. But I showed them one of the verses right here that shows that Mary needed a Savior just like us. So she was just a regular person. Yes, we should respect her, but she was like us needing a Savior and she it proves it in the Bible. There's Christian science. I'm trying to go as fast as I can, everybody. Gnosticism, I never heard of this one, Hare Krishna, there's Hinduism, Islam, Jehovah Witnesses, I wish I had this one three weeks ago when I was speaking to Jehovah Witnesses, but it gives you all the scriptures, Mormonism, New Age, Rosicrinism, Rosicrinism, see some of these I never heard of, so maybe you have in your area. But here's all the apologetics to help you defend your faith against these other religions. Here's your, your Christian doctrine uh, section. It says, main aspects in the Christian faith of angels, gifts of the Spirit, and so on. It has Jesus Christ. I don't know if I'm out of view. Let me see. It has a ton of helps to help you evangelize, disciple, and also uh, counsel people. Here's a counseling section. If somebody's going through drugs and alcohol addictions, you can bring them and read this here. Games and gambling, abortion, anger, wrath. You can pause this video at any time if you want to take a look closer at some of these things. There's finances, fear, fornication, gossip, healing, homosexuality, and whatnot. Here's your devotion section on fasting, praise, prayer. Here's your evangelism section, how to evangelize to adulterers. Alcoholics, orphans, judges, men, police, or whoever needs evangelism, uh, you can look it up there in the church section. So again, uh, your main text that's going to help you evangelize, counsel, or disciple are going to be highlighted in blue. For instance, right here in the beginning, you see it deals with apologetics. Oops. Apologetics, apologetics, evangel. Let me zoom in for you guys. Okay, right here. So that first section deals with apologetics, apologetics, evangelism, and apologetics. So let's say you want to do an on, on apologetics. Uh, Jehovah Witnesses. Is not God a triune God? From the beginning of time, we see the plurality of God. In this case, the Father and the Holy Spirit are working together. See also Colossians uh, 1, chapter 1, verse 16. So, and it also gives you the page number to follow the chain. So we can find it easier. It's uh, Colossians 1 verse 16. We can just go to page 1332, I believe. 1332, which is way back here. Which will start right here. Oh, let me zoom out, guys. Sorry. Which, it'll be right here. So let's go back and see. 1332... Colossians 1 16 uh, It'll be right here. You'll see it right here. This is the section you're going to read for Jehovah Witness For everything was created by him in heaven and on earth in the visible and invisible It's talking about Jesus Christ. Everything was created through him. So then you come down to 1 16 again 1 16 down here 
apologetics there's two of them it'll tell you chain reference begins at genesis 1 verse 1 and 2 but you can read your notes to the people and explain it and then again this one says chain begins at genesis 1 uh genesis 1 1 and 2 page 1 so it's just a chain like this one maybe like two or three verses strong but you just follow the chain almost like a thompson chain but overall this is an awesome bible the text you can see the text is large i would say it's a 10 a text is 10 the uh the notes down here are probably about an eight eight and a half um it's pretty decent size great for evangelizing if you're out on the street you're not gonna strain looking at this because these are not small small fonts um overall in the back you do have eight maps you have about eight maps i believe you know and then back here you also have a section do you know the five principles of eternal life this is great to read uh and then you have i don't know if i showed you guys the the deep waters the deep these are called the this is called the deep water section right here so if you want to look you know for a certain word you come back here and you can look at it or you can find there are little boxes that are okay right here this is another thing guys let me think okay wait a minute right here is the deep waters this is what i was talking about works acts actions uh sometimes refers to good or bad performance or practice so you have little boxes with deep waters which goes deep into the meaning of a certain word here's disciple apprentice student matthew 5 1 and it explains the word in biblical uh, context and it sends you to where you'll find it like right here matthew 5 1 works is up there so it's also i mean it's just a great bible like i said it's smith's own uh binding here's another deep water um the only thing that i notice is that some sections you can tell the difference in the darkness look how dark this one is and this highlighting is lighter it's like they ran out of ink or coloring but that's fine i'm not going to take off many points so i still like right here i still give a five and a half compared to this one or four and a half out of five because of just the coloring of the highlighting and you'll notice the lighter colors in a few sections it's not a big deal it's not something to knock the bible this bible is still going to be great for evangelism um, i highly recommend it csb is a highly recommended uh bible like i said um here's the new testament i love the color schemes again the blue color scheme it's awesome so if you guys are looking for a Bible that will help you evangelize, I recommend this one. Here's one of the articles that are spread throughout the Bible. It's just a few articles. It's not like another Bible pack full of articles, but this gives you the basic of counseling. There's one on devotion, I believe, and it just explains things to you. It's several pages long. Um, other than that, okay, the only thing I'm going to tell you is that this Bible does not have uh, an opening. As you can see, Matthew, it just gets straight to Matthew. There's no opening page or description page, whatever you call it. There's no extra articles. It's just straight to the point. Great for evangelism, counseling. Uh, this is great to have on, on your on your person while you're out there evangelizing on the street. Like, like I said, it's not full of a bunch of stuff like opening description pages. I, I forgot what you call them. But it's great for evangelizing. I highly recommend it. Four and a half out of five. This retails for $29.99. Here's a, a section that has different ones. Uh, it retails for $29.95. See, this one is the counseling, evangelism, and the counseling. But it is a highly recommended translation. It's a highly recommended Bible. It's not packed full of stuff that will make it a heavy Bible. It's perfect for evangelizing again, guys. Again, please hit the, the subscribe button and the notification bell. Be sure you give us a thumbs up and share this video, please. And invite your friends to come and subscribe to our channel. And be looking out for more videos in the future. And hit that notification bell because you will be notified. Go visit our Facebook page. I'm going to put the address in the description section. So go be sure to go ahead and visit our page. Um, be looking out for in a few days. Hopefully within the next 10 days I'll be reviewing a Thompson Chain Reference Bible. It's coming in the mail very soon. It's going to be the King James Version. But 
So be on the lookout. Go look at my other videos. You know, leave comments. Interact with us. Thank you guys for watching. Again, this is the Fisher of Men Bible. I hope you guys have a blessed week, this coming week and forever. Um, thank you guys. Please share us. Please share this video. Thank you guys. God bless.